G'day everyone, uh, I'm Nick Bowditch. Today I want to talk about success and um, this entrepreneurial dream that can just as easily become a nightmare. Um, and while something can be your dream, the people around you who care about you could be having a very different dream for you. So I, uh, I heard this morning from a, from a friend and a client that uh, telling me that they're going to have to wind their business up and, and um, they have a little startup, small business. Um, and they're devastated. She was saying to me that, you know, it just proves that I'm a failure, that the self-talk and the, uh, the external talk that she's, she believes she's always heard from people was that if you don't succeed in this space, then you're a failure. If you don't succeed in your own small business or your own startup as an, or as an entrepreneur, then you are weak and you haven't tried enough or you haven't done the long enough hours or you haven't hustled enough. And that's bullshit. That's the story that she's taking with her from having this business back into whatever she does now. She's always going to feel like that's a failure, like it's a black mark on her that, you know, that she wasn't able to do it because she didn't try hard enough or she wasn't strong enough. And it's just bullshit. And it's bullshit that's peddled by people like me. I think that I've had something to do with that. I think that I've put that that message in her head a little bit too, that you know, maybe you're just not working hard enough, maybe you just need to hustle more, maybe you just need to do longer hours. I see I see it a lot. I see it a lot in my newsfeed on Facebook. I see it a lot in different communications around entrepreneurial entrepreneurialism and small business and startup stuff that, you know, you've got to do twenty hour days, you've got to do the hustle now, you've got to work, 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 work. And I think I think I've done that. I, I've, I've certainly put those hours in before and I've told other people that they need to. But I don't want that now. I don't want that for you. I don't want that for anyone. I don't want your partner and your children and your friends and your family to go, where is Nick? Uh, instead of being at the barbecue with the family on Sunday in the pool at your sister's place or whatever and, and, and your partner or whatever have to say, oh, he's working. Oh, he's got some stuff to do. Oh, he's doing this and doing that. If you're working 20-hour days to start a business and you're doing that for three or four years, like, fuck that. Who wants to do that? I don't want to do that. And and that that sort of stuff comes about because that's what we think success is. You know, this entrepreneurial thing or this small business thing or this startup thing isn't for everyone. And... Just because it might not work out for you doesn't mean you're any in any way less of a person than someone it does work out for. There's not much luck either. You know, you create your own fortune. I, I, I get that. But we are really, really hard on ourselves in this world, in this entrepreneurial space, in this sole trader space, that we have to do it all. No one can do it as well as us. No one believes in our dream as much as us. If our partner is saying to us, come to bed, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, you shouldn't be sending emails and working on your WordPress website now, the little voice in our head says, it's right for you, you've got a job, go back to your job, do whatever you have to do, don't, don't try to bring me down, which is, which is bullshit. Right? They're looking out for you, they're caring for you. Because sometimes we forget to care for ourselves in that space. You know, It's not for everyone. Failing in your business isn't failing in life. This is a tiny little bit of your life. It doesn't define who you are any more than if you're a, a policeman or a bricklayer or a receptionist or a doctor or a whatever. It doesn't define who they are either. But the media, and, and, and I'll put my hand up for some of this blame, says to, says to us, says to people in this space, you've got to do this. You've got to do the hard work. You, you knew it wasn't be easy. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Translation in your in our brain, oh fuck, we've got to work 20 hours a day and we've got to work ourselves in the bone and we've got to lose everything. 
because I need to build this thing, because I need to prove myself, I need to prove it to them, I need to prove it to the world, and I need to prove to myself that I can build it, otherwise I'm weak, or I'm stupid, or I'm a failure. And I reckon as soon as you've, as soon as you've started to say those things to yourself, you have failed in some degree, but it's not as a, as a business person or whatever, you've, you've failed potentially as a parent, or a partner, or a friend, or a brother, or a father, or a son. It's really sad. It's really sad that we can't separate those two things. You know, we can't. And the problem is that so many entrepreneurial successes are in the media now. They're all over the media. And we know who they are. We never would have known who they were, you know, 10 years ago. But now we do. And so we aspire to that. And we, and we want to be those people, which is fine. But you never know what those people have gone through either or are going through. And it's not for everyone. You can't just set up a business because you've seen it on a TechCrunch article and you can build a WordPress website and expect to be the overnight success and be acquired by Facebook and, and whatever and everything will be okay. Because as soon as you do, you are setting yourself up to fail. And worse, you're setting your family up to fail and your friends and your siblings and your everything. All because of the stupid pressure we put on ourselves that doesn't matter. Just because you can't build a business or you've, you've had, a, you know, had a failure in a, in a small business or whatever, doesn't mean you failed as a human. God, this journey is not for everyone. I've had to uh, tell maybe six or eight mentees in the last 12 months that I thought we should wind the business up because of whatever reason. That's a really hard conversation to have. In the end, it should be a really easy conversation to have because you, you're giving them a break. You, you tell them what they already think anyway. And, you know, I don't, I don't do that lightly, believe me. But if, if these people, you know, keep churning on and keep flogging themselves, then they're going to lose everything. And I've almost lost everything. And when I say that, I mean everything over businesses. And it's just not worth it. How do you define your success? For some people it is to have a small business or a startup or a, to be an entrepreneur or, or whatever it is. For me, I define success in a few different ways. I define success as I was very successful in somehow managing to convince the hottest chick in Australia to marry me and then for us to make humans, which we did, it's a massive success for me. It's a success for me that I'm allowed to travel around Australia, around the world, speaking to people in audiences about you know their startup journeys or about their depression or about their addiction or about kindness or whatever it is. And, and that's a real gift. I'm, I'm really, really grateful for that. That's success for me. You know, that I can affect change in one person or make someone think differently about themselves and hopefully achieve something by finding their kindness is a massive success to me. It's not how much money I have in the bank or what I've built or what I haven't built or, or whatever. It has been that in the past, but I've let that go. And, and I, just want, I just want people to be happy. I want, I, I want to be happy and I want to help people be happier by finding their kindness, but not by finding the billion dollar idea or whatever, because you, you know, if you flog yourself and flog yourself and flog yourself and still fail at that, and by the time you've invested all those years in it, you're going to think of yourself as a failure and you're not. And it's, and it's unfair that we do it to ourselves and it's, and it's just really sad. Success for you is different to success for me. Do not judge yourself by another person's success, another person's journey or whatever because they don't have the stuff that you have going on and you don't have the stuff that they have going on either. It's too easy to do that with the mass media and with social and, and with all these things in our, in our face all the time, all this content about the success stories. To, it's too easy to, to then paint yourself as a failure if you're not that person. Please find your kindness today. Spend some of it on yourself. Um, and give yourself a little break. See ya.